Say you're gonna be in love with me. It's driving me crazy. Hey, the things that hey, you're What's up, YouTube, and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Mariah Perry, and we are starting my moving series. As y'all know, or if you don't know, I have been doing these vlogs, like, early in my 20s vlogs, still living with my 20s. If you guys want to check those vlogs out, you can click right here. Um, yeah, so I'm finally in a space where I feel like I am ready to move out. I just graduated from the University of South Carolina. Um, it's currently May 11th, but I don't plan on moving out until August. I've been looking at apartments. I want to live in Charlotte, so I'm going to show you guys some apartments that I'm touring in Charlotte. I'm finally putting on my big girl pants. It's something that I've been wanting to do. Um, I feel like if you feel like you're ready to move out and it's something that you've been wanting to do, don't let people speak fear into your heart because, you know, there's a lot of back and forth about renting out spaces, but if it's something that you want to do, you're ready for your own place, whether you have a roommate, moving out your parents' spot, whatever have you, do it. Just do it. So, yeah, I'm excited. It's 12.16. My tour starts at 12.15, so I need to go ahead and go inside, and I will see you guys in a little bit. First on the list is Marlo Place. Here is their little Wi-Fi lounge, so if you guys want to get out your apartment complex and go to this clubhouse, there's a Wi-Fi lounge. Um, there's also this entertainment center, clubhouse, entertainment. You guys, listen, I'm not a realtor. I am not a leasing agent, okay? I'm just showing you guys what I saw. I thought that was a cool feature inside of the clubhouse. There's a garage, so it can go up um, during the summertime and you'll kind of have like an indoor outdoor entertainment thing going on. So you guys can like, how do you say? Um, reserve this place um, during the summertime. If you guys have like a little event going on and you wanna host it at your apartment complex, it's a perfect area to do so. What I don't like about my little place is that I wouldn't necessarily say you have to drive through the bad part of this area to get to the unit, but you guys know where you go somewhere and you have to go through a location and then boom, it's somewhere that looks really nice. This is kind of, what Marlo Place gives me. Like the location is just kind of weird. Um, the gym is really nice. They have a squat bench, free weights. Um, they have Peloton. There's also a yoga studio in there as well. I'm gonna show you guys that in a second. Treadmills, ellipticals, um, that cycling thing. Is that a cycling thing? I don't know what that's called. <laughs> But here's the yoga studio, and there's also a device on a mirror where it will instruct a um, workout video for you. So I thought that was really cool. Or you can just come in here to meditate. So that's really nice. I love the lights on the ceiling in the gym. That's really cool. Now we're going to walk to the apartment that I toured. I toured a two bedroom, two bathroom. And today, on this date, October 13th, 2022, their two bed, two baths are starting at $18.38. That's the starting price. You guys have to also um, think about cable slash Wi-Fi, valet trash, pest control. When you guys are apartment shopping, make sure that you guys include those things into your um rent of what you want to pay each month plus your other bills your car note um car insurance all those other things make sure you guys do a budget when you guys are creating um your list of apartments that you guys want to tour um also apartments change their um rates every day so it's good to check each day when you are touring apartments to see the different prices that they have throughout the seasons or each day. I hope that makes sense, okay? This is a queen size bed. It fit kind of tight in the bedroom. Nice size closet, but I feel like it could use some more um, rails to hang clothes. 
if you were to put a dresser in there, it would be kind of tight. I will say that I love the countertops. The stainless steel appliances are really nice. In-unit washer slash dryer. This is the master. There's a little bit more space in the master bedroom compared to the guest bedroom. It fits two nightstands comfortably. And here is the closet. Kind of a weird setup in my opinion. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but. And then here's a cute little linen closet inside of the actual bathroom. And if I am correct, there this is a walk-in shower, yeah. Walk-in sh walk shower, single sink, a good amount of bathroom storage, I guess. And yeah, I don't like how there's no storage in the shower. So you would have to order some shelves from Amazon. No silent closing drawers in this apartment. But still nice. Um, yeah, would I get this? No, mainly because of the location of the unit and obviously the price. Way out of my price range. On to unit apartment complex number two, the Enclave at Rivergate. Now, these apartments were okay. The area is nice. It's not too far from Carowinds. Um, a lot of their units were renovated. So kind of like 50-50. Ooh, this is nice. 50-50. Ooh, this is outdated. Didn't really like that feel, but the bedrooms were... A really nice size this specific unit comes with a sunroom so at this complex you could either get a sunroom or a balcony this is also a two bed two bath linen closet in the bathroom or in that bedroom I'm sorry excuse me double sink as you guys can see where the outdatedness you see the yellow tub I don't really like that you can just tell like I don't know, it's not bad, but not something that I liked. I had to slow this down. The The closets were pretty nice um, space. This is the living room. Sorry, guys, I got distracted when it came to recording. I'm trying to do the best that I can. The kitchen is very small, weird little nook next to the fridge, in-unit washer slash dryer, which is nice. There's also storage in the laundry room, but very small kitchen. It's not really an open floor plan, um, but yeah. A nice big sink. There's also a desk, a built-in desk, which I thought was pretty cool. And the reason why I'm pointing the camera at the floor is because the leasing agent requested that she was not shown in the videos, but she kept walking in front of me. So I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to do my best. And I was distracted too. Linen closet. Pretty nice, bad, pretty nice bathroom. Nice wood floors. And then I'm gonna take you guys into the second bedroom. See how she keeps walking in front of me, but doesn't wanna be on camera. This is a queen size bed. It fits a desk and a nightstand comfortably. Pretty nice size. 
Um, it kind of reminds me of the master bedroom. Usually the guest bedroom is a little bit smaller, but they're about the same size, same size closet, very nice. And the starting price for this two bedroom, two bath is 1803 as of today. When I first toured it, it was, when I first toured it in May, cause I went apartment shopping in May, it was around 1700, but as of today, October 13th, 2022, it's at 1803. I did not really like the gym. A nice traditional gym, but it could use some tweaks. Here is apartment complex number three. One more to go after this. This is Pringle Square. I really, really loved this complex. However, the only downside is that they do not offer in-unit washer slash dryer. And I am not going out my way to buy a washer slash dryer. So they have washers and dryers available in the leasing office. But just imagine having to bring clothes to the leasing office every time you wanted to wash clothes. And I know some people, you know, some people go to the laundromat. But as for me, I prefer an in-unit washer and dryer. The gym was very nice, pretty big. One of the biggest gyms that I saw out of all the tours that I went on. Um, yeah, the gym speaks for itself. It's pretty nice. And I'm getting ready to show you guys the washer and dryer. So there, I think there's like four washers and eight dryers. I just, I just can't. I couldn't do that. Mm -mm. Not for me. The pool was beautiful. The community is beautiful. The area, very nice, friendly, quiet community. They also have garages if you guys want to pay an extra $50 a month. Speaking of the price, the two bedroom, two bath that I'm getting ready to show you guys starts at $17.31. Um, there's a fire pit, there's a grill outside, kitchen outside. And from what I remember, I do not think they have elevators. So if you're thinking about living on the second or third floor, you would have to walk up the stairs. Here's a two bedroom, two bath. Stainless steel appliances, glass top stove, nice granite countertops. Kitchen table can fit in there. There goes where the washer and dryer would go if you decide that you want to purchase your own or if you would be going to a leasing office to wash your clothes. Pretty nice size living room and that's a queen size bed two nightstands and a dresser still enough space to walk by nice size closet Nice wood floors as well. Walk-in shower. For this bedroom, I can't remember if it was one walk-in shower and one tub. 
we'll see in a second. Double sinks. So this is the master bathroom and a nice little linen closet as well. Very small linen closet, might I add. I really love when you could, when you can see the living room from the kitchen and apartments. I know that sounds weird, but not all apartments are like that. I like a nice open floor plan. This is the second bedroom. Still a nice amount of space. They probably got that bed from Wayfair. I still don't have a bed in my apartment yet. I'm sleeping on a mattress and a box spring right now as we speak. Oh yeah, there goes the tub. So this unit comes with a walk-in shower and a tub. So you get the best of both worlds. Here is the last complex try on farms. What's good, girl? Try on farms is nice. It's also near Carolyn's, not too far from the second complex I showed y'all on Clay by Rivergate. So it's about like six minutes away from that complex in the same area. Nice um, washer and dryer. The living room is kind of like a square shape. Not sure what it would look like with furniture. This is two bed, two bath and it's starting at 1712. Both of the bathrooms come with a tub. The bedrooms feel kind of small but they come with ceiling fans and the closet is kind of small. I will say that. Stainless steel appliances, that's nice. A nice deep sink. Trying not to get her in the camera. This is the master bed. Still kind of small, but doable. The closet is the same size as a guest bedroom, in my opinion, just in a different direction, just facing a different direction. And a nice garden tub. And the shower has storage, so you can put your stuff in the shower. That's nice. But yeah, y'all. Those were the apartments that I toured. Y'all stay tuned for my apartment tour, which was not shown in this video for obvious reasons. But yeah, I finally moved out of my parents' house. I am adulting now. I have to pay my own bills, y'all. Life is lifing, but I'm so thankful for my job. Um, thank you, God. Thanks, y'all, for supporting me. If you guys made it to this um, point in the video, make sure you guys check out my description box. I will be posting my Amazon registry in the description box. So if you guys want to support me and purchase something for my apartment, that would be greatly appreciated. I love you guys so much. Shout out to Mama Fitbit. She's my first YouTube supporter that purchased something off my Amazon registry. Thank you so much. You have been down since day one since I got on YouTube. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The pool at Triumph Farms is nice, but this video is about to end. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you guys would like to see next and subscribe.